I got blue money. We're here with the hottest artist right now coming up in the game, Young Petro. Show, records, man. You already know what it is. Shout out Sam 30 Radio, man. That's you know how we come. All right, so one of my favorite records, you know, is Bloodline. There's a, a lot of meaning to that. You bless us with that on our mixtape, you feel me? For sure. You know, that's one of our favorite records. It's out now. Go check out that video. What is that? What is Bloodline? What does the record Bloodline mean to you? I mean, it mean the most to me because, like, you can't buy a bloodline. It got to be in you. That what it mean. Bloodline mean it's in you, not on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't you can't fabricate it. You can't you can't duplicate it. Is 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 your DNA? Is everything I do is in my bloodline? Like my bloodline won't let me be flawed. You see what I'm saying? My bloodline gonna make me the really because I come from a real deal solid bloodline, and that where that come from. Yeah, I definitely see you saying you know everybody around you. You know, there's not a lot of people like you. You're saying a lot of everybody who's surrounded by you is going to eat. You feel me? For sure. In this game, what does that mean? What it mean by eat is I'm going to put you in a position where you ain't got to ask me for that. And I ain't going to bird feed you because we all grown men. I'm going to put you in a position where you can take care of yourself plus your family. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact. I want number bosses around me. I don't want no workers. That's a fact. You know, obviously from the music we see that you've been in the streets and all that, you know, but now you got that record deal and, you know, what what do you say, I know it's still early, but what would you say is the difference between rap money and the trap money? Rap money, rap money is all profit. That's the difference. That's the true difference. Rap money is all profit. What I mean by that, like, you book me for a show, I come to your city, your town, and I'm going to tell you how I'm living and you're going to pay me for that. I don't got to invest no money into that. Trap money, you got to invest money to make money. You see what I'm saying? Yep. I got to, in order, if I want to make this, I got to invest this. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact. And that's how they, that how they go. That's the but difference. About, you know, I know, you know, they, they're saying that rap is the biggest, you know, most dangerous job. You feel me? So yeah. It's kind of the same, you know, because in the trap, you got to look over your shoulders. Yeah, for but, sure. You know, is there a difference with that? Like, that's true though. That statement is true because rapping is the most dangerous job in the world because rapping is the most dangerous job in the world because clout is the biggest drug in the world. Yeah. Not heroin, not crack, not weed. Clout is the biggest addiction in the world. Like everybody wants clout. Like everybody they'll do anything for the clout. I'll say Ben told you niggas this. Like they do anything for clout, for sure. So when did when did you start rapping? About five months ago. Oh, shit. Yeah, about four, five months ago. Wow. Yeah. I was made nigga already. You feel me? I was made nigga around my way already before I ever started yeah. rapping. You feel me? I heard and it shit. In the bars, you know, I had 120 for the deal, right? <laughs> nah, for sure. <laughs> for sure that. Right? Mm hmm. So, how did that deal come with, with Quavo? Quavo actually is my first cousin. Remember that time? But I was in the street, Quavo rapping. You see what I'm saying? So, I started rapping. Quavo, like, oh, boy. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Me and Quay were living two different lifestyles, so it was always all love, but that just like, if you were NFL player and I'm a goddamn worker, we both chasing money, but the way we chase money is different. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't want my lifestyle to intervene with his lifestyle. Not saying he ain't like that, cause he liked it, you feel me? But he graduated onto something bigger, you know what I'm saying? I was still on what I was on, for sure. That's, that's amazing. Um, did you think you know, I know you say you started five months ago, but did you think that, you know, you would ever take rapping as a profession? I had to see some money off of it first. Once I seen it, that shit made a lot of money fast. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about, you can check my DM right now. I got 10, 15 niggas right now ready to spend two bands, 2,500, just on the feature. Yeah. You just want me to get on the mic and tell you how I'm living and what I stand on. You do that shit like water, you feel me? You feel me? Like, it just come back to back to back to back to back. And that's a blessing. I thank God for that. Yeah. You feel me? That's a true blessing. And I never take it for granted. But, but that shit fab, boy. Yeah, for sure. I see a lot of young Petro this year. You feel me? I seen you have uh, the, the song with Fujiano, Boss Man. Free Fool, man. Free my motherfucking brother, man. You know, you me? Free Fool, man. Ass cops out here. For sure. Yeah, man. Any tips you, you, you can give any up and coming rappers on how to get in the position that you got? Check out Stay Consistent. 
You got to believe it. And I know, like, they sound like a broad answer. Like, because I done seen an interview before when niggas say that. But, like, you really just got to believe it. And it got to be a God-given talent. That's like, right now, you can be the brick man in your city. You can be whatever. You can have a lot of money. Or if you can't route, you can't route. That's not your profession. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you just got to do something else. But, like, you got to be consistent and you just got to have the talent. Just like everybody done played basketball before, but only a certain amount make it to the NBA. And that's how it go. But they work for it and they had the talent. So, you got to work for it and you got to have the talent for it. For sure. That's a fact. You know, and I feel like you got to have your city behind you too. Like, yeah, yeah. See, my city behind me because I always took care of my city. You know what I'm saying? I always took care of my city. How you know what I'm saying? How describe Athens, Georgia? I just feel like Athens. The realest like I done been a lot of places and I feel like I ain't met niggas like niggas from Athens. You feel me? Like yeah. Athens bred me like like bloodline. I say like it got to be in your bloodline, but you got to be surrounded around realness too to be a real nigga. Cause if you were surrounded around fuck shit, you gonna be a fuck nigga if you easily influenced. You feel me? That's a fact. Yeah, for sure. What was your biggest inspiration to keep going in life? When food made it. When food, not in, no, no, in rap, no. In rap. Keep, yeah, in rap, yeah. When food made it. Yeah, yeah, when food made it, goddamn, I was like, boy, I got to do this. And food manager, food manager, food manager, that's the secret weapon, man. My nigga quit. I love you to death, quit. Make sure y'all shout them out. 4LA quit. I love Food and quit. They push me. They push me to be major. It pushed me to be major, and look where it got See me. How you came in and took that but my biggest aspiration in life, though, to keep going, would be, I'm a man. You feel me? Like, I'm a man. You feel me? Like, I ain't finna ask nobody for that. I ain't finna beg nobody for that. I'm going to get this shit on my own because I'm a man. Every day I wake up, I'm breathing and I'm healthy. It shouldn't be no excuse for me not to go get it. You feel me? That's my biggest inspiration. I'm a man. I got kids and shit, bro. You feel me? I can't go out like that. No, hell no. I see you rocking out crazy, like in your performances. Like, how does it feel to be front on that stage? Like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit feel good when them folks hit them camera phone. They hit them goddamn camera phone, boy. And them folks just rocking out, singing your shit. Them folks love that shit. I be seeing, you know, your brothers and everybody on stage going crazy. They love it, boy. They love it on God. I just be, I just be like, Damn, you feel me? Yeah, they rocking out. Every show, every show I'm having sold out and they rocking out. You feel me? Like, because I'm in that bitch drunk hell, so I'm a party. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't booed you or nothing. Baby, you want to come get you a picture? Come get you a picture. Shit, y'all nigga fucking with me. Y'all, hey, come show love. But if y'all nigga play with me in that club, well, we going to turn that bitch out. For yeah, sure. know that. Yeah, we going to turn that bitch out. Coming up, you know, what was your favorite artist coming up? Favorite artist. Inspired you to do anything, you know. I'm gonna have to say Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. They were my. They were my. They were like. Meet my dog. You feel me? Like I don't know him person, but like when I say my dog, like music wise, you feel me? Yeah. But see, like, of course, like, Quay, like number one. But like, I'm. I'm not speaking on cause. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't speaking on. I'm speaking on. Just who I didn't know, like Kakul, I was right, I was witnessing when Cole did it, you know what I'm saying? And Cole still top five in the game, you know what I'm saying? But Meek, like, I really, I really fought it with Meek Scrubber, man. Like, I really felt Meek. Yeah, I fought with Meek Scrubber. That's what's up. Shout out that nigga Meek Mill, man. You got a favorite producer? Spillfo. 1017 Spillfo, man. Spillfo, Spillfo, yeah, he signed the 1017 Records, man. Spillfo is my favorite producer. Spillfo is the GOAT, man. Shout out Spillfo, for sure. Spillfo made it. He's on a lot of hit records, you feel me? A lot of them. A lot of them. When you're in the studio, do you write or you punch in? I punch in because I ain't going to lie. If I if I, if I I write it, it going to sound like I'm reading it, so it might be like, I with Sam Third. No. I'm with Sam Thetter and him, hey, and, and, and he tried to play me. I got the cameraman and he crazy. I didn't ever fuck a nigga later. You feel me? I just, Yo, that, but, <laughs> you, know, I just you know what's crazy about that? Like, every song you got, bro, yeah. you bring that, that, I love that flow, bro. Yeah. Bro, you got that shit. Yeah, like, that's just my flow. Like, I can't. I don't know how you do it. Yeah. That shit is hard as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, it just, it, hey. It, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, you gonna feel it. You gonna feel it when I say you like, ah, you feel me? You just gonna feel it. Right there, yeah, for sure. You definitely one of our, you know, favorite artists, if not our favorite. Right yeah, now, for sure. Yeah.
a lot of records you got right now. Bloodline is definitely one of my favorites. Um, that money drop today, that money gonna go crazy. Money gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. Right here, you know, we got a segment called Petro Bars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We took a couple of lines from from, different, from Bloodline, Boss Man, Black Rose. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, it's in my bloodline to keep it solid. What yeah. That, what does that mean so for the people? I can't be a fault nigga. You feel me? Because there's so many real niggas in my family. I can't let my bloodline go out bad. I could never tell on the nigga. I could never do whole shit. You feel me? I could never betray my brother. You feel me? Like, the morals and shit I stand on, they how I would raise. You feel me? Like, yeah, I ain't. It's in my bloodline to keep it silent. Yeah, for sure. The next, that goes to the next one. Um, yeah, because, like, in the streets or whatever you choosing, you chose to do that. I ain't nobody ever put no gun in my head and say, hey, sell drugs. A kick those, a raw. Ain't nobody put no gun in my head and did that. I chose that. Yeah. So you got to be a man about, you know what I'm saying? The, the consequences if it go bad, like, yeah. you got to be, you got to, you got to take, take that because ain't nobody made you did it. Like, That's a fact. and nobody wants to sit in jail, but like, shit, just like time out. I was always in time out when I was a kid. You do something wrong, you get punished for it if you get caught. You feel me? That's, That's how it go. Fuck nigga told. That fuck nigga told. That shit be hurting you the most, right? That shit hurt you the most. I know a couple niggas, but you know, we ain't gonna get them nigga no clout. You feel me? Yeah, we ain't gonna get them nigga no clout. They know they told, though. <laughs> Play with me. Shoot fuck out your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot fuck out you playing with me. And I'm not playing. Team ready to go. Yeah, At yeah. Every nigga with me stepping on shit. Every nigga with me. And not nothing to play with. Every single one on. What about if you in a trap, but I never served you? You ain't no trap. I run my city. I ain't no way this back in the day. Yeah. You know, I'm a legal man now. Back in the day, there is no way you say you were selling anything if you ain't came and seen me. That's a fact. Them facts. He's a boss man in his hood. Nah, for real. They say the feds on me and I'm hot. I'm serving every jacket hit the block. Oh God. Show. Sure. I heard you mention you got hundred percent on blow. What's your favorite um like you know kingpin movie? Damn man. Paid and Fool would have to be my favorite movie, man, because. Mitch, the, I mean, Ace, the only one that ever fucking did it and lived to talk about it ain't spending the rest of his life in prison. Everybody else, Grisel de Blanco, Boston Jewel, El Chapo, goddamn Pablo Escobar, all them folks goddamn got caught, you feel me? Like, Mitch, I mean, Ace got shot, he got he got shot in the head, but he lived, you feel me? He got out the game, you feel me? He got out the game, but he got out the game with all his money, though, you feel me? That's the ultimate goal, you feel me? Like, he took the ultimate sacrifice. But shit, he got the ultimate pay. You know what I'm saying? The bigger the rib, bigger the reward. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. That's a fact. All right, let's get into boss man. Yeah. Boss man, you say you ain't a boss nigga, you a runner. Mm-hmm. Can you break that down? You ain't you ain't buying the product yourself. You feel me? Your homeboy buying the product and you just making money off of his product. Yeah. You ain't taking them chances. You don't know no plugs. Exactly. You ain't taking them trips. You don't know nobody, nigga. You a runner. You feel me? I don't know. I don't be knowing them niggas. You feel me? I don't know. I can't say that. Uh, if a nigga play with me, I'm up to five. Yeah, that's enough. I'm telling you again. I'm going to shoot fuck out your ass. You play with me. Dead, too. I ain't aiming at no lead, no on, no nothing. I want your ass out of here. Another don't play with me. Says, I got a clip long as a tunnel. Yeah, 30s. 30s. Extensions on all the guns. All of them. 30, 50, 100s. Yeah. I need a bad bitch like Rihanna. For sure. I need a bad bitch like Rihanna. Man, that whole fine as hell. You know what she look like? You got any any eyes on any, you know, celebrity females you <laughs> gonna push your this year? Hey man, I just live day by day, high corn, high corn, you know. I'm a big believer in God, so I feel like everything manifests through God. So, you know, however God want me to have it, that's how I'ma have it. You feel me? For sure. Let's get into Black Road. That's the one the video you were Yeah. Today, right? It was called Black Road Money, but it's actually called Money now because P 
people didn't know what I was talking about when I said black road money. So I just got it for, uh, you know, for, for the world to understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Black is, is money. You know what I'm saying? But it was called black road money because that's why I ran up all the money. At, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure. So, you know, what is the black road? The black room. I'm doing the interview, gang. I'm doing the interview. Come on, I'm over here. I'm at the house. Hey, everybody out here. All right. Hey. Don't yeah, play with me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Love you, man. How far away you here? I'm right here on the house. All right. So, you know, what is the black room? It's the neighborhood where I'm from. That's where I'm from. That's my hood. You feel me? I am the Black Road. I see you saying, talking about it all the time. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? That's my neighbor. That's where I grew up at. That's the neighborhood, yeah. Right here, the house we at, right here in my grandma's house. The Black Road, that was my mama's state. So I was just always back and forth between the two. Oh, God. Yeah. Can you explain fuck your bitch money? I got it. <laughs> yeah, hey, I got it. You feel me? Like, shit, you know, to me, every woman got a number. You know, some women numbers just higher than others. Some bitch you can fuck off a A for gas. Some bitch you can fuck off a goddamn taking on a date. Some bitch you can fuck off a buying a car. I got all that. Whatever you want, oh, I got it. You feel me? Like, don't play with me. I can fuck your bitch because I got the money to do it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that fuck your bitch money. That's a fact. For all the trappers, you know, they know what this means, but for the fans... First of the month comes on a Thursday. Ooh, that when them check the hit. That when them check hit, boy. And them janky love when them check. Yeah, when them jank, when them check hit, boy, them do, all the dope boy love that because them jank got some money. Cause most people that smoke dope be like off. So they get checks every month. You know what I'm saying? For sure though. For sure. So goddamn. The first and the third. Yeah, first and the third, we going crazy, for sure. I'm gonna grind now and shine later. What does that mean? I've been grinding for a long time, so this shit you see now, it thirty thousand dollar watch on me, feel me? This forty thousand dollar chain on me, these twenty five thousand on me, you feel me? Like, you just see the shine. I've been grinding for this shit for a long time, so now it's my time to shine because I've been grinding, but it took me a long time to get here, for sure. Bro, you deserve it. You feel me? Yeah, twenty four years old. I know he a hater. He ain't having paper. He broke his head. He just hating on me because he ain't got no money. He wanna work for me. But he ain't got the heart to tell him. He want to work for him. Yeah. Never told on no money. And this money can't, I can't put this, I can't fold this money. <laughs> this shit like, this shit thigh pads. You feel me? I can't fold this shit, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Tell them, for, hey, tell the Falcon come get me. They need me. Because we sucking. You feel me? Yeah. Let them know right now. Yeah. How you supposed to look when you get money. Look at me. You feel me? Yeezy on my feet. Designer belt. Gucci coat. You feel me? Come on with the rolly, with the rat. This how you look when you getting money, man. You feel me? Hell yeah, bro. We just seen you copping up crazy jewelry too at Lux, right? Lux. Shout out my boy Lux. Shout out Lex, man. Shout out Hit. All right. Shout out Lex, man. Shout out Goddamn on um, Ray, man. I'm fucking, I'm fucking with. Not Lex, Les. Les. Shout out my boy Les, man. And the last one we got for Petro Bars for today. Mm-hmm. I'm in the hood. How the fuck can you find me? I'm in the hood, how the fuck you can't find me? I'm in the hood. Ain't no way you look, say you looking for me. And goddamn. Ain't no way you say you looking for me. How you looking for me? I'm in the hood, nigga. Pull up. That's a fact. You looking for me, nigga? What you want to smoke? What you a fan? What you want to kick it, nigga? I'm in the hood. Pull up. That's a fact, bro. You know, this is going to be first out of many, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Updated through, throughout your career. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. You know, like I said, we appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. Shout out 730 Radio, man. Big Petro, man. You know how we coming, man. For sure, man. Gang. Petro. 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 Yeah, Petro back, nigga. I been in the motherfucking hood. Count on these racks, nigga.